Hello again, faintly saintly here, and I'm back looking at yet another deck building game. This is a roguelike deck builder called Dysomancer, and you may have heard of this one. I think it did become quite popular with the uh, Steam Next Fest, but uh, I just didn't get around to it, so I was going to have a quick look now. Um, strongly recommend starting with the Prologue. Let's do that. I don't know much about this one, um, except that it was highly rated and became quite popular, so I thought I'd uh, definitely have to make time to have a look. Okay, a little bit of a, a world map here. We've got health, currency, I assume. And our deck, deal damage or block. Okay. I'm assuming the prologue will be a bit of a tutorial. This is the mana cost of the card. This is your mana pool. Every turn you can get three. The mana limit is four. Go over and the first mana gain vanishes. At turn's end, all hand cards are automatically discarded. Now, try to use strike. Okay, so it's going to use one of the three. Like the uh, first person perspective, reminds me of the old old school RPGs. Uh, is he going to attack me? What am I doing? Do I attack him again? And block. There we go. Enemies intentions. Enemies next turn plans. Enemies next turn plans displayed here. Resolved from top to bottom. Plan wisely in response to the enemy's intentions. He's going to strike and then he's going to strike. So I'm going to block twice and I'll hit him. Okay, very good. Pretty standard stuff so far. Can I kill him yet? No. It's a cool sort of hand drawn and animated uh, graphics. Quite appealing. Choose between one new card. Fishing Wish. Heal 12 health, draw two cards. Fragile. Fragile means it's removed from the game after it's used. Removed from the game? Like completely? Or just from the battle? Piggy. Everybody be cool. This is a robbery. Thick skin. Reduce damage received by three. He's going to do 5 damage, so can I actually even hurt him? No. Watch out, this piggy has a special ability, Thick Skin. Thick Skin reduces piggy's damage received by 3, so regular strike cards can't harm it. Try to use a more powerful card against it. Do I have one? Oh, here we go. A one-time crossbow. This card is effective, but requires blue mana to use. Blue mana comes from any blue card. Drag a card to the mana pool to exchange it for mana. Here, both strike and one time crossbow can be exchanged. Right. So if I exchange a strike, I believe I need to convert. Sorry? Oh, I see. Do I? Oh, okay, I need to end my turn. I didn't realize I was all the same turn. I blocked him. I need to convert this mana into blue so I can put a strike there and then hit him with this. Put a strike there, hit him with this. He's got one health left, but I just have to block. I broke my shield, took some damage. That's scripted, so it's fine. Got here with a fishing wish. Don't, uh, yeah, maybe I will just to get full health back. Convert that. Love that look. <laughs> Use a new card. Another fishing wish. Here we move on. A strange girl. I met a girl. Swords and shields are so boring. Try these goodies. Okay, get chaos strike times two, crossroad times two. Dice bonus times two. Check ten. Deal eight damage. Fail. Gain six block. Gain four luck. There's dice rolls. Okay. We've got two of each of those. We'll move on. That looks like combat, a boss, and uh, fishing. <laughs> Whatever that means. 
Okay, multicolor mana cost. Purple or grey can be used to play this card. If you have purple and grey, grey is saved first using the colored mana first. When rolling dice, roll an extra dice and take the highest result. Then lose one luck for every six luck. Then lose one luck. For every six luck, roll one more extra dice. So luck is a stat somewhere, I assume. Do I just use that? What's he going to do? He's going to heal and he's going to hit me. I'm going to just do that. I'm going to hit you with this. Uh, uh, that one's not multicolored. The other, uh, I thought it was telling me it was. The other one was. Okay, that's uh, unfortunate. Do I sacrifice this one? Will that stay there next turn? Let's find out. Okay, yes it will. So we can get up to four, that's right, and the new ones will push that off. So... I need to roll the dice and deal damage. It costs two. Could be worth it. Nineteen. Now I'm going to actually... Sacrifice that, or turn that into mana. So I'm going to blue one, then I'm going to shoot him with this. Done. Another fishing wish. Boss battle. Piggy boss. Powerful leader of the piggy clan. How dare you treat my piggies like that? Reduce damage received by 99. That seems legit. He's going to do 12 damage. Is this just meant to be a scripted loss? Wow. <laughs> Interesting uh, animation there. Things just got complicated. Why is this piggy so strong? Do I better kill it like this? What the? <laughs> just burst through. Here's something good for you. Super strong dice card. You can use dice to change any number you see on the screen. The change is permanent until you die. Any number on the screen? Try playing with this deck. What the? Deal 99. <laughs> Hang on a second. Any number on the screen. So let's roll. What number am I changing? Can I change his 99? No, only the ones that are stuck on the screen. So that's money, I guess. Ah, oh, here it is. Thick skin. Turns it to 1. <laughs> Did that cost mana? I don't think it did. Play another one. Let's change his health, shall we? Is that two health bars? Change that to five. <laughs> That's crazy. Change that to two. Uh, can I roll the special grenade? Yes, I want to do less damage to myself, please. I'll take 4 damage, he'll take 99. <laughs> wow. Okay, that... That I didn't expect. <laughs> what a cool concept. I just saw something purple in the distance and it feels like it's getting closer and closer. It feels wrong. That's not good, time to go home. Okay, so this is like a uh, faster than light style uh, chase, I guess, which you have to keep ahead of. So it moves forward as I move forward. Getting caught means danger. If the mist covers the full map, you fail instantly. Right. So I'd have to run back. mist keeps spreading. In the haze, I seem to see things not of this world. This world is broken, heh <laughs> The girl appears again beside me. Because you used that dice card to change the numbers in this world, it's quite useful, right? Otherwise, you would have been beaten by Pinky Boss. I am a god. Only a god can do such incredible things. I came to save you. 
If you stay here, you'll be swallowed by the purple strange things. She says with a smile, even though it's a frightening thing. Escape this world with me. The one who gave me dice. Welcome to my home. This is the middle realm, the junction between parallel worlds. The world we just left is no more, but I can take you to countless, almost identical worlds. However, no matter where you go, you'll have a purple mist chasing after you. If you can run all the way to the center of the royal city, I'll send you to a world where you'll have time to leisurely fish. Good luck. Don't forget to bring the dice or you won't last an hour. Repair, upgrade. Select your class. Class. The class on your start deck will be generated based on the mana orbs you've chosen. You'll gradually unlock other orbs along the journey. For now, drag and drop the blue mana to the center. Is that what I wanted? After deciding your class, you'll receive some start relics. Relics are very useful. Be sure to check it. Activated relics such as, such as the one dice need to need a click to trigger its effects. Remember to use them. The one dice. Press to activate. Permanently change the target number to dice roll. Okay, so that's basically what I've just used. That's good. Can we upgrade? Upgrade your dice in the shop. Upgraded dice will be bigger. You can use dice in the loot screen. Okay, red, blue. You must use a void orb when selecting the start deck. You can and must. Where is it? These are just, you can. Not available in demo anyway. Alright, I'll leave it at that. Play. Familiar scenery. Let's go a bit further and see. Okay, plenty more choices now. An anvil, there's a backpack. I might go backpack to anvil just to see what these do. So the backpack. Hiya. The shop, I guess. But I can't really afford much. I can afford brainstorm. Pick a card from three cards that fit the requirement. Remove the card from battle. Interesting, and there's some more relics or artifacts. Interesting, but I can't do much, so... Okay, so backpacks are shops. This might be an upgrade opportunity. Select the card to upgrade. Oh, I have purple and blue blocks now. So purple or dice rolls. Choose gain two luck or gain two bad luck. Why would you choose that? That must be a other element. Apply to bad luck. Deal plus D8 damage. Hmm. What's a miracle? If this card isn't drawn at this turn's draw, card phase, trigger its effect when casting. But if I draw it later. Deal 12 ammo. Loaded ammo 1. When it reaches zero, reload the card. Is it just me or is that not? Changing anything. I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to move on. I'm going to pick the sword. Let's get into a combat. A crow increases the number of attacks each turn. Four, one, one. All right, let's roll for a defense. Only got one. That's not good. Can do that now. So that's something. Can I just kill it? No. But the two health bar things. Okay. Have to end there. One dice. Did I roll my money? That's probably not worth it. I might not get more than six. Permanently chained. So I could upgrade one of these cards if I roll well, right? I could kill him this turn, so I'm just going to do that. What? I don't know what I rolled until... Too. So I just downgraded my shield. 
And that's the risk when you roll the dice, right? Two golds or four new cards. Got some gold happening. Okay, yeah, fight then treasure. Go this way. Oh, two enemies. Brass shield block. All allies gain block. Deal five damage. That's a bit dangerous. We've done one again. Go check what distorted does. When when it's resolving, accelerates the pursuit of purple mist. If this card is gaining another distorted keyword, glitch keyword instead. Hmm. Only got one mana left. Maybe I will roll your health. Interesting. So you gotta like clear the first health bar before you move to the next one. Okay. They've got shields now. You reload the crossbow. Need to do seven damage. Okay, literally reloading, that's cool. Can I... Just have to block to minimize the damage I take in, I suppose. Since I'm not going to kill. Spell again. But I'm just going to finish you off, hopefully. Are you joking? I'm not, actually. Uh, alright. Plenty of block, and it's going to do nine damage now. Okay, that's not a bad roll. Take a bit of damage, but hopefully I can finish him off this turn. Uh, maybe not, actually. Certainly not. It's going to do 12 damage as well. All I can do is block, I suppose, try and minimize what I take. There's a shop coming up, yeah. Choose between three new relics. When you lose HP, heal two HP. Can only be triggered three times a battle. Requires three charge. Press to activate. Gain four temporary power. Press to activate. Draw four cards. Some on the drumstick just to keep me alive a bit longer. I can rest here and heal. That's good. Okay, so it's not entirely linear, as in, if I come down here, I can actually go backwards to go forwards. I might keep moving forward. There's another piggy. He's got lots of health bars. Gain one intrepid. When lose HP, limit the loss to one. Annoying. Gain two power, bloody hell. Should I sacrifice this now for a... I don't even know what's in my deck. I don't think I have anything that uses that. Crossbow, maybe. Although this turn, you can only take one damage, correct? Yep. To reload the crossbow anyway. Butter hand. When attacking, check eight. If it fails, damage is halved. What a pain in the ass. Uh, let's just roll his health, I guess. 
Or should I have done an in a later health bar? I'm not quite sure how this works yet. Okay, drumstick healing me there. Okay, you're not intrepid at the moment, so I can do that. But I check you. Okay. So there are some invisible dice rolls, I think, related to that. Check four, but I don't see that roll, do I? Deal ten damage. Roll to one to block, that's awesome. I'm gonna apply eight butter hand to me again, so I've got ten butter hand. That's annoying. Uh, what can I do? You load. Strike. Strike. I'm wondering whether any of this is a placeholder graphic because it's just the demo or whether this is like the, the final art style. It's not, not a bad thing. Um, I'll roll. Okay. You know, I really like it. There's just a few things that don't quite line up, so I'm wondering whether they go for a full hand-drawn aesthetic or whether it's a bit of work to be done. But I do enjoy it quite a lot. Okay. I mean, really want to kill in this turn. Losses Intrepid, I've got to do 9 damage. That's not going to happen, is it? He's going to do 10 to me. I could do up to 8, if that works. I might get him, actually. Ah, uh, what? That's annoying. So is it true that if he's got health in two health bars, I can't actually kill him in one hit? I've got to kill this health bar, then kill the next one, I guess? Not entirely clear yet. Deal 4 damage, kick 3. When casting, you can discard up to 3 cards. Duplicate this card, okay. Deal 10 damage. I'll grab that. Oh, I, get <laughs> I thought I had to choose between the card and the gold. I could have been taking both this whole time. Okay. Woody Fire Punch. Woody Tough. Ben 8 Block. What are you? Woody. Was born a piece of wood, worked hard from its top to the roots. Power of flames was he trained the fire bed of his greens. Fair enough. Um, it's a bit creepy, isn't he? I'm gonna roll this health bar. Oh, I need blue and if I put you there, then I can do this. Uh, and I'll do this. Here's his heal. Flame of a fire punch. A fire punch without flame cannot call it fire punch. The enemy's health bar is broken. All of its intentions will be destroyed. Ah, oh, I see. That's what focus does. Maybe that was silly. Because I'm not going to break that shield. Getting terrible rolls with the shield myself. What can I do? Slow sword. Oh, I need blue, of course. There <laughs> Got me. Interesting. Defeat spots nine. That's how many places I moved. Got seven kills, four rolls of the dice, two maximums, four minimums. So there you go. 
Well, I might leave it there. I just wanted to check out this demo and see what it's all about. It seems really interesting. Really like the art style. Seems a bit challenging, but then again, I, I do. Uh, I don't quite have an understanding of all the mechanics yet, but uh, it might be something I return to. I'll definitely be keeping an eye on it. If you thought it looked interesting, chuck it on your wish list. Um, I believe the release date was later this year, potentially. I don't think they've actually announced a date, but um, anyway, it's one to watch if you like this kind of game. So I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.